guys, I'm Ken Komish. I'm Brandon Fair. And we're from Venture Out, and we're going to show you how to set up a four-man tent. First off, you want to keep track of all your little supplies. You got a, you got a rain cloth here, ground cloth. Here's the main part of the tent. And this is the tent bag, and we'll just stick this inside the tent after we build it. All right. First, you're going to want to roll the uh, tent completely out. Set aside your poles to make sure you remember where they are. I'm stretching out the ground cloth here. This is going to keep you dry if it rains or uh, from dew in the morning. It's going to make sure that it doesn't get into your tent and keeps you dry on the inside. And this goes underneath the tent. Alright, make sure you find the doorway, and we're going to put that facing y'all here. Stretch that out. Alright, and then we're going to put together the poles. They're collapsible and flexible. They're uh, pretty easy to use, and if you got a partner to work with, it comes up real fast. just kind of snap together here. On the four-man tent we have three different poles. Two are the supporting structure of the tent itself. The other one is for the rain fly and we'll show you that right after this. You're going to make sort of an X shape like on top of the tent and then you've got all these little hooks and you hook them on. Always try to not step on our tent. It's just uh, being good to your equipment, you know. And then you don't have to dry clean it. Okay. Once you got everything clipped, just double team one pole. Bend it up. All right. If you feel any stress or strain on the pull or the tent, probably something just needs to be adjusted a little bit. So don't pull too tight. Just take a look at it. Like this clip right here, I'm just moving it down. And then it fits a lot better. Same thing for the other pole. Just adjusting these to make sure that there's not undue strain on the materials. These clips can sometimes be a pain on these four mans because of these little metal things in the middle of the poles that get caught on. It's not so. that hard though, like you get the hang of it real quick and it sets up in probably about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Alright, next we're going to get the uh, rain fly here. This has a couple of benefits. Obviously it keeps the rain off. Another thing is if you're doing any winter camping or anything that gets a little cold at night, this will reflect your body heat back down so it keeps it nice and toasty inside. If you'll notice here, there's these little pockets on the inside. You're going to want to make sure that one of them is above where the doorway is and the other is on the opposite side because that pole that we were talking about here it is, is going to go right here in the center. 
And the reason we want to keep the rain fly away from the tent is then when the rain falls, it's going to sort of fall off out here instead of directly onto your tent fabric. So I'm just feeding this through and my buddy Brandon's going to meet it on the other side and we just hook it right under here. It's super easy. And then you got like a nice little, little rooftop, I guess, for your tent. got two sorts of zippers on here. One is for the colder weather and then one you got like a screen door. And there's another window out on the back so you can have some nice airflow. And uh, then we just stake the corners yep. and tuck our ground cloth. It's really easy to stake. You can either just push the aluminum stakes in with your hands or if it's a little tougher, there's rubber mallets you can use. Or uh, the other thing that we like to use is if you take parachute cord, you can tie it to these and they come, the tents come with parachute cord. This is the parachute cord right See, here. There you go. And you can just tie that on here and bring it out to a nearby tree and that'll work for even down here. Right. One last thing, there's also two other uh, items that we include in these tents. One is different uh, fabrics in case there's any tears. Um, at any camping store you can buy an adhesive um, that basically you'll cut out a tear that's a little bit bigger than the rib. You'll put place it on there and then you'll like adhese like some of this like adhesive around that tear um, and that'll repair it for you. Cool. And then this other little piece here, this actually goes in the very center of the tent. You'll hook it up in the top and it creates a nice little storage area to put your stuff in. So it'll hang about like this, put your stuff in the center, up in there, and you'll be good to go. Yep, and we just keep all of our gear on the inside, and uh, then you know where everything is when you're breaking it down. You guys have any questions? All right, thanks. All right, should be good.